Hi students, tomorrow you all are going to write the preliminary examination. So the day has come. So the day for which you have been preparing for the last one year. So now it is a time to convert your efforts into results. So we thought of wishing you before the examination. So here comes our wishes for the examination along with a small tip for the examination. So the small tip which I recommend is, and you all know about this tip, the small tip is, before the day of examination, keep your mind very calm and keep it very relaxed because this relaxed mindset will help you to attend all the questions in a proper mindset. And you should have this kind of mindset for that have adequate rest before the day of examination. Then. The thing which you should not have on the day of examination is you should not have fear on your mind about the results or about the questions. So you should not allow the fear to dominate on the day of examination. And apart from that, don't let the pressure dominate you on the day of examination. If you don't allow the fear and the pressure on the day of examination, then automatically you all can do well the examination. So keep this in your mind students, wish you all the best. So do well. Hi friends, so all the best for your prelims examination. The point I want to share to you with prelims examination is the day of examination also play a major role in your outcomes. What that means is in prelims examination when you are approaching general studies or CSAT, treat every question as a unique question. So what does that mean means we should not carry the emotions of one question to the other question. Assume that you are writing your general studies. First question, if you are not able to find the answer, you should not get tensed. Move on to the next question. And in second question, if you are not able to find the answer, move on to the third question. Point is, preliminary examination or UPSC examination is primarily based on relative performance. Among your friends, how well you are doing, that is the most important thing. You need to keep that in mind. Because UPSC doesn't have a pass mark here. It's more about getting the cutoff range. So keep that in mind. Approach your problems. All the best. Do well. Hi aspirants. Uh, the last minute advice from me is, be on time is very common, but finish the paper on time is my advice. because. We will be on time to the center, that is for sure. But two hours is the most important time of your day. So in that timing, you have to finish your paper that you have to keep it in mind. Please make an arrangement like within this uh, time, I have to complete these many uh, questions like that. You have to fix a timer or fix time limit and then you have to finish it within two hours. And that is one of the important exam personality trait as well. Okay. So finish the paper on time and same aspect uh, I am going to say that is uh, one or two questions we may miss in the middle of the question paper. For example, we are not going to attend all the questions. We are going to leave some questions in the middle because uh, we do not know some uh, you know for sure answers. So negative marking is also there. So Whenever you are marking your answer, please check whether you are marking it on the right question number. So whenever you are marking, for example, 8, C, then you have to check, am I marking the C on the question number 8 itself? So that you have to be very sure. And also a personal advice from me, don't think about any past regrets. For example, I would have uh, done like this, I could have uh, studied like this no regrets anymore this two days you have to focus on your own you know uh, personality your own you know uh, uh, compassion towards the exam you should not think about anything which could have been done better that is not that is not going to work now so whatever you are gi giving give it a fight give it a fight till the last minute that is the uh, beauty of this exam so whatever you have in your hand with that you give it a fight and that tough fight will save you even more. The fear may give you some wrong answers, but the confidence and the uh, you know tough fight, you your spirit to give a tough fight will give you some good answers also. So don't think about what 
this exam is going to give me in the last minute. Whatever is happening, you are not going to control it. This is not going to be controlled by your thought process. So, give a very free flow fight and also don't think about your parents, uh, you know, economic condition and your relatives opinion on your success or failure. Don't worry about anything. Just focus on your exam. The results are not going to be in our hands. So, just give a tough fight. That is the spirit. All the best. Good day, aspirants. Finally, uh, the big day has come. Tomorrow, we are going to face the preliminary examination uh, for the year 2024. We all would have made lots of uh, efforts in the past one year, one and a half years, uh, preparing, acquiring knowledge, writing the practice test, solving lots of questions, remembering lots of facts, uh, making out lots of strategies. So, all the efforts, whatever you have done so far, is all going to show its... Uh, uh, effect and the impact in tomorrow's examination. Keep yourself uh, cool. Uh, the last minute anxiety will definitely have a uh, toll on the efficiency. So keep yourself calm and cool. And uh, tomorrow's examination, you are going to write uh, two papers. The GS paper having around uh, 100 questions. Obviously, 80 to 85 questions we'll have to attempt if we want to get into the competition. Looking at this uh, question paper in the GS with 100 questions, 25 to 30 questions will be uh, like uh, solvable by many of the aspirants. Again, 20 to 25 questions will be difficult for many of the aspirants. So, in between there are like around 30 to 40 questions which are actually going to be the deciding factor whether you are inside the competition or not. So, this 30 to 40 question is the area where all your preparation, your knowledge, your rationality, your common sense, the strategies, whatever you uh, prepared, everything is going to help you to make it mostly onto the positive side. And uh, when you uh, work on the questions, uh, read the question and the answer together, give utmost care to identify the uh, keywords in the questions like uh, whether they are asking uh, mostly or all or none, uh, which is not. So, all of these uh, keywords have to be given a uh, lot of uh, attention. And when you read the question, even though the option A could be the answer, please read all the four options and then choose the uh, answer, uh, the right answer. Don't be in a haste to just choose the option A because you have to rule out all other three things are not the correct options for that particular question. And if you have a difficulty in doing this, you can even start reading the options from D, C, B, A so that you don't miss out on choosing the right answer. So, with all these uh, efforts, uh, have a good meal today. Uh, have a good sleep today and uh, wake up with a very clear and a cheerful mind. Keep yourself calm and go and attempt the examination in the best possible way. Shankaraya's Academy wishes you a very all the best for your examination. Have a great day, aspirants. Thank you.